Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on line graphs. So line graphs are a way of comparing two sets of data which are in some way related to each other, uh, but we usually use them to express how something changes over time, so over a month or a week or the course of a few hours. Uh, so if we have a look at an example question, David collected data on how much sleep he got each night for a week. His results are collected in the table shown below. Construct a line graph to represent his data. So here we're measuring how his sleep changes uh, over the course of a week. Uh, so that's Monday, Monday through to Sunday. Now line graphs are one of the more simple graphs to plot. Uh, really all you have to do is choose a suitable scale. Uh, so if we have a look at the uh, first column, that's the days of the week. Uh, well we all know that there's seven days of the week so we need uh, a scale that's going to allow us to plot seven points. Uh, so if I put the first point here and then the next one here and so on, so I've got three, four, five, six, seven points, equally spaced, uh, and then let's just label them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, excuse my handwriting. And then on the other scale, uh, we can see that the largest data point is 9.2. Uh, so we need a scale that's gonna allow us to go up to that. Uh, there's 10 squares on this uh, y-axis, so I'm just gonna have one square representing one hour. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Uh, you could condense these data points if you wish, uh, but this is a perfectly fine scale for our purposes here. Uh, so now we have to plot the points. Uh, so you can see the first point, uh, Monday, that's at 7.2 hours of sleep. So that's there. And then Tuesday, 6.5. So we go to 6.5 there. Wednesday, six hours of sleep. So I'll mark that there. Thursday, it is 8.4 hours of sleep. So that's that point up there. And then Friday was the most sleep during the week. So that's 9.2 up there. Saturday, quite close to that, 9.1. That's there. And then Sunday, it's the smallest amount of sleep. That's 5.9. Uh, so that's this point up here. Now, all we have to do is join the line up. So to join up the points, we have to make sure that there's a straight line between each of the individual points. Now, when you're drawing a straight line in an exam, always use a ruler. Uh, here, I don't have one. Uh, so I'm just drawing as straight a line as I possibly can between each of the points, like so. Now our graph is almost complete. Uh, we're just missing a couple of things. Uh, so first of all, uh, we need a title for our graph. Uh, so let's just say that this is amount of sleep over one week. That's a perfectly suitable title uh, because it expresses everything that the graph encapsulates. Uh, and then we just need to label the axes. Uh, so the X axis is days of the week. And then uh, the Y axis is sleep and that's measured in hours. Uh, so I'll put that in brackets. So that is a complete line graph. If you want to test your strength on the line graphs topic, then why not do our online exam? It's available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, You'll find loads of different questions to have a go at. There's a variety of different question types as well, and you receive instant feedback on everything. So you'll be able to work out where you're going wrong and see the work solutions as well. So if you're interested, then you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.